welcome to my vlog and again I am Ketalea from S15 and this video is about introducing the buildings and what's their use. Now this video focuses on helping the beginners figure out how to play this game. So I'll introduce the basics and I'll give some tips. And I hope you can finish the video until the end because I'm going to uh, give you some advice on what you can focus so that you can have a good gameplay and have a stronger uh, unit or power within this game. Now, yeah, I am an experienced gamer, so I played a lot of games like LSS or The Last Shelter, which has the same gameplay as this one but of course they have their differences now um if you can see we have here a pumpkin and this is because we have a holiday just uh the past holiday which is called the halloween so the developers of this game came up with this um setup but in the real or in the ordinary days, um, this big ant, which is the queen, doesn't really have a pumpkin. Right, so when you try to start the game, of course, the first thing that you're going to see is the queen ant. So this is the queen ant. Now, the queen ant is the one that is um, responsible for unlocking the building so the higher the level of the queen the more buildings that you can unlock all right so again this is the queen ant and so the queen is the exact or the same level as your ant hill so this is the queen so if we click this one and go outside and it will show you your anthill. So this is my anthill, right? So let's go back inside. Okay, so that anthill have a skin, right? So this is the skin. Now these are my purple skin and I don't have a legendary skin. No. And then the basic skin that okay so this is the basic skin right so this is the skin for the level 25 okay so this is the level 25 skin which is the max so of course you're going to start from one level one until 25 but okay let me show you right so it looks like this now let's try to move on so again this is the queen and you can see there are class so in this game we have uh, three classes we have culty it's the cultivator more likely um, they are the farmers and we have the raider which are like they are war monger or how do you call that one they are the one who likes war and they have a more advantage winning um, the war or any war against other enemies sort of. and then we have the herder herder are yeah herder they are like um, they produce more honeydew so honeydew uh, which is this one this is the honeydew um, it is actually like the money of this game right and yeah we have the four oh no 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 the seven seven resources in this game so the first one is the meat okay let me show you this one these are the meat and we have water and we have sand and we have also the wet soil right so these are the resources nodes inside 
your ant hill and it's also important to level them up so that the production of your resources will increase right and for this one so we have the fungus or the fungi so these are the leaf cutter okay these are the leaf cutter and the leaf cutter serves as like the electricity of this game now um leaf cutter are the one who produces fungi and for the honeydew we have here the aphid now aphids are the one who produce honeydew okay but you can acquire honeydew by looting other hills okay and you can only get honeydew when looting or plundering when you are a raider class so right now me my class is raider okay and then we have the buff okay so these are the buff now we have the shield these are the shield or what we call the bubble then we have the attack bonus you can use attack bonus when you are um, um, attacking someone and if you would like to have um, more damage and yeah more percentage of winning you can use the attack bonus and we also have the defense and anti-scout if you don't want anyone scouting your hill and what how much resources do you have and false troop it's like um it doubles the number of your troops when other are scouting you and then we have the gathering bonus gathering bonus is when you are trying to gather some resources on the resources nodes on the map okay and then we have the event point bonus so this is for the svs or state versus state and we use this to acquire more points when competing in the SVS. Okay, now we have the restrained ground hut, groundhog buff. So this is for the Saturday event. Uh, you're going to attack the groundhog. So let me show you what is a groundhog. It's what you can see on the map. This one. So this is the groundhog and let's go back so we have the layout now layout is um if for example you started playing this game the layout will be um available at queen seven i'm not sure but um as far as i remember it's in queen seven so layout is what you can Oh, it helps you to organize the buildings within your anthill. But me, I had my customized layout. So this is what my anthill looks like. And I only did this by myself. So you can always choose the basic layout. But if you want more customized anthill, so of course you can also do that on your own. Now, we have the skin. So, these are the skin. Skins uh, give uh, or beautify your ant, your ant hill. So, for example, if I'm going to choose this, right? So, my ant hill will look like this. Ta-da! There you go. And another thing about skin is that each skin have their buffs right so you see on the description of uh, the skin buff of this one is special and skill defense but it's not very high though it's still helpful so the the percentage is only um 0 0.3 uh three person yes Okay, so that's it for this one. Now, you can see, guys, these. The little flowery, beautiful thing. Now, these are what we call ornaments. 
Okay? So, ornaments are designs inside your anthill. So, they are small and they are big. So, those are the small ornaments and these are the big ornaments. So, um, aside from uh, making your anthill look attractive and beautiful, they also have their specific buffs. So, I can show you here on the book. Now, this is the ornament gallery. So, the first one, just for example, the agaric. Now, this ornament has meat output buff okay so another we have um for example this one so this is the thrill of the hunt now this ornament can give you a uh, healing it's uh, no 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 it's the capacity it adds capacity of injured soldier right that's just 0 0.1 percent and so on so these are my ornaments okay now let's go with the military buildings right so in this game we have three kinds of soldiers first we have the guardian so these are the guardian ant nests and um, of course, it fo its its focus is producing guardian ants. Okay, so guardian ants are the more defensive type soldier. They are very good at defense or defending your your unit or your hill. Now we have the second military building, which is the shooter ant nest. So. From the word itself, shooter ant nest, it produces shooter ants. Now, this is the most um, uh, damaging or most offensive um, type of soldier ant. So, I can show you the stats. So, you see the attack is 105. And compared to Guardian, it's 59 only. But the defense is very high. 61 and then we have the ha uh, the shooter it's only 49 and now the third military building is uh, the carrier ants so the carrier ant nest um, produces carrier ants now carrier ants are actually like the balance type of soldier and if we are going to compare them with the two and the carrier ants actually had uh, the biggest load okay load of all the three uh, soldiers now uh, let me show you this that so uh, the attack is 67 the defense is 47 it's quite good and they are also the fastest moving soldier and because they have a march speed of 15 while comparing to the others they only uh, have a much slower so this is 11 and this is 12 right but the carrier ants have 15 um so just a tip guys if you're going to loot for example, you already had your farm account, okay? So, this is the best soldier that you can use when looting your account or looting something, okay? So, this is the T1 or tire one um, soldier. Now, let's try to compare this one to the T8. So, T8 has a load of 10 while the t1 has a load of 15 see the difference and also it is the fastest among all the carrier ants right so they all they just have the same load the t2 but it, this is much faster 
I know. They are just the same. I'm sorry. Okay, so again, this is the carrier ants. Now again, we have three types of soldier ants. We have guardian, we have the shooter, and the carrier. Okay, so let's move on now. Here in this part, we have the troop camp. Now the troop camp um, gives you the information on how many soldier ants do you already have. So let's try to have a peek. Now this is um, my troop camp. Now right now I have uh, 957,000 T9 shooter. And then I also have the enhance. So if you see this, that means these ants are enhanced. Now what are enhanced? Well, they are more developed than the basic soldier ant that you have. So that is a troop camp. And now let's move on to the rally centers. So in this game, um, the more higher your hill, the more um, rally centers you can have so all in all we only have four units or march unit so these are the march unit see we only have four so now these are the rally centers so the higher the level your uh, rally center the more uh, numbers of soldiers you can have in each march unit so just for example okay now just for example i'm going to put here my carrier right so these are the numbers so i have 27 okay 27000 if i'm not going to put a special end okay so same goes with this because my rally centers are all level 25 so yes they are all 27,000 okay right so now if i'm going to put level 50 or max special ants with max uh first skill and the six skill then you can have more troops it's the maximum is 108 okay so i'm going to put an example here okay you see all right so that is it for the rally center now let's go with the storage right so these are the depot now depot are the storage of your resources so we have here the meat we have wet soil and the fungi or the fungus we have the reservoir it's for the water and we have the plant depot and also of course the sand depot it's in this part right so just for example we have the meat depot so you will see how much uh how much uh, meat you have in the inventory okay so those are the storage now let me show you these so we have here the healing pool so healing pool is where your injured ants are staying it's like the hospital of your ant hill and we have the aphid they are the one producing honeydew and we have the cocoon medium it's actually um for the increase of hatching and the ha it also gives additional hatch cap when hatching soldier ants 
and of course the leaf cutter the one that produces fun fungi and worker ant nest so worker ant nest is uh, responsible on your population the population or the increase of the population of your ant eel so there are two ways so the first one is leveling up your worker ant nest okay and the other way on increasing population is this one so this is the feeding ground the feeding ground is um actually the one that gives food and water to your ants right so now if you're going to supply the feeding ground then the population will increase see so my max population is 420,000 and right now I currently have 294 population but if I'm going to supply this okay then this one will increase right so it's not really like necessary to put or to supply the feeding ground that is my recommendation it's not really necessary um but this is only necessary when you are going to upgrade your anthill and it and it requires a specific number of population so that you can supply your feeding ground right now another thing okay let me go with okay let's go with this one this is the sentinel tree sentinel tree is um responsible in scouting so when you scout of course you're going to get information on that specific hill right so the higher the level your sentinel tree is the more detailed of information your scout will give you now like uh, like this my sentinel tree is level 20 now if we click more info it will give you the description on how much it can give you when scouting so right now my sentinel uh, tree is 20 and what it can show me is the levels of enemy and their special ants that are in garrison okay so yeah that is the sentinel tree okay so speaking of garrison let's go with this one so i'm really um shy about this because my entrance level is so low now this is the entrance and this is the one responsible for the durability of your ant hill now the durability is this one so once someone attacked your hill the durability will lessen of course so for example i'm going to attack one of my farm so this is farm two okay now the durability is this it's the 100 percent it still has a 100 percent durability now if i'm going to attack my my farm let me show you okay just look at the durability you see it is lessened because i attacked someone or i attacked it okay so that is how the durability works now you can um always okay let me get back to it now you can always use diamonds on restoring your durability now another thing for the entrance is the garrison troops so right now i unchecked all units 
but if you check it then these units are all garrisoned to defend your anthill from invaders but for me i'd like to keep it ungarrisoned because i just wanted to keep it that way <laughs> okay but if you are garrisoned you have garrisoned and someone attacked you so these are the one who's going to defend your hill okay now it's uh, important that if you turn on your garrison make sure that your units can defend your hill all right and don't expect that there will be no injured ants after defending your hill there will always be injured now um speaking of that so if you turned off your garrison like me um this is the one who's going to defend your anthill inside it's the toxic fungi now toxic fungi is okay the fungi with a unique odor and toxicity entices enemy to eat now build it to defend so it has the power to attack and poison the soldier ants of the invading enemy now uh, they will deal the damage of the toxic fungi which is now revamped and um, it's more destructive now okay and now that's it for this so let me try to explain you one by one these buildings so this is the special ant habitat now um we have actually two kinds of special ants okay we have okay we have the war special ants which are these okay currently these are mine and we also have the develop ants so develop or development development ants are the one in um that we station here okay in the special ant habitat and these develop ants are the one responsible in um strengthening the production of each resources or the healing pools and so on and this is the alliance center this is where you can check the salary and the you can also support send support and help now you can also check this part to see your alliance details and now this is the troop tunnel so the troop tunnel is responsible for the rallies okay now the higher the, the level of your troop tunnel now the more destructive your rally can be right so it also indicates how much or how many rally slots you can have so the max for this one um from level 11 to level 25 is four but you can also have a uh, rally slots of five when you research in the evolution uh, about the assemble colonies this one right so that's the troop tunnel and for this this is the underground cave and the mutation flora um these are for the cells now the cells can give extra buffs to your to your ants to your soldier ants and okay oh this one this is the evolution fungi now the evolution fungi is like the academy or the or the a college or school inside your anthill 
So this is very important because the evo of your ant heal can give extra damage, attack, defense, and um, buffs. So it's really important because, yeah, just like this. For example, like this, it gives extra attack and damage to your unit. And not only that, also for the hill develop. This mainly focuses on building and your resources production. Okay? Now... Let's try to find out more. Okay, so here, this one is the mutation pool. Now, mutation pool is where you can find the fragments of the dupli of your special ants. Now, these fragments, oh no, yeah, this one. Yeah, so these are the fragments that you can use to redeem spores so for example if i'm going to redeem these i'm going to get 100 spores and these spores are used to level up your ants skill okay now okay this is the buildings for each class so i am a raider class and i am a hard raider class so i level up my uh, trophy storeroom so this is my uh, trophy storeroom it's level 25 and this can give me extra attack and defense this is uh, the building for cultivator class this is what we call the resource factory so it can give you or it can process to give you some extra resources and this is the resource tunnel it's for the herder and you can use resources to trade um into something so speaking of trade i have here the ladybug so the ladybug is the one that is responsible for giving us extra resources by trading for example like this i'm going to trade my water into the honeydew for the honeydew and so on so in the in the ladybug store we can have or we can trade honeydew resources speed ups and um buffs and you can have another free for example i'm going to buy these all Okay, so I already bought them all and I still want to know what are the other um, other resources that um, the ladybug will offer me for a trade. So I'm just going to click the free, the free button and there's another set of deals that the ladybug can give me. Now for the next um reset you'll need to pay uh 1000 diamonds okay that is only if you wanted to but for the first reset the first time reset it will be for free okay so yeah that's the ladybug now uh, any other let's check okay so this is the special ant nest now this is where you can get special ants 
So, for example, I'm going to click the hatch. Alright, so there you go. I got a parasitic special end. So, this end is for develop. Now, we have the supreme, which can give you orange special net, special ants we have purple and blue so you can also use fragments to buy special ants you can use the fragments to buy other fragments of each special ant that you want to acquire and you can have these fragments by completing the CA for example like this right so the CA is this one I'm not going to okay let's try so today it's hatch soldier and so it's convenient for me to use a buff which is the advanced raspberry to gain extra points now I'm going to produce the soldier ants okay you see right so I already got the third shell in the CA or the colony action and each reward will give you bonus so it can be diamonds speed ups and some honeydew or other resources like this and for the second shell it can give you a fragment so this is the fragment and for the third shell, it can give you diamond speed ups in the eggshell. So the eggshell is the one that you use to buy fragments in the fragment shop. Right? So you can only acquire these when completing the colony action or the CA every hour right and is there any other that i haven't explained okay let's check okay so this one um this is the insect habitat now um you can only acquire this building once your ant hill reaches level 16 okay now level 16 looks like an orange pumpkin and that is just the basic skin and now what can you do with this insect habitat so here you can um, check what insects do you have and you can also use it when you want to preview your insects and level them up now you can also um, okay, click the work when you want to station the development or develop insects just like this I have the ladybug locust wang and the hermit crab Okay, so this is the insect habitat and here I have the insect nest so insect nest is where you can hatch insects and the termite farm so the termite farm is where you can breed the father now this father are the one that you need to uh, produce the insects and leveling up your insects so this is also very important okay so is there any else let me double check 
Okay, this is the builder ant habitat. Now, the more builder ant habitat that you have, then the more slots of builder ants that you will have. So, right now, me, I only have four. But there is a deal in the shop that you can uh, buy another supreme builder ant, which can ha uh, make your builder slots into five. Okay, so that's it. And this one. So this is the exotic pea. So right now my exotic pea has been watered and others can water your exotic pea. So you can just try to ask in the zone uh, using this. <laughs> but it's okay, that's just an example. I, my exotic pea is already finished. And once um, all the five slots or drops of water has been finished, um, you can have diamonds. Okay. Now, I guess that's it. Let's try to double check again. Right. I guess that's it. So... Um, those are the buildings that you can see and encounter in this game. And I hope you understood what I said. Now, here are the tips that I'm going to share. So, um, when you are still starting, I want you to focus on the buildings that are required for leveling up your queen. Okay, so our main focus here is the queen because this will unlock many buildings. Okay, many buildings that you need for a stronger anthill. And you will only see those here in the build button. And it will give you a notification if those buildings are already available for you to build. Okay, and for the evolution, I think you, uh, from my own, um, from my own experience, I recommend for you to first level up this three. This one, the rapid production, the hill develop, and the basic combat. So these are very important, and. Um, it's okay to focus first on your pro unit and the march unit one. And of course, when the strongest... Okay, this one. Yes. So this one. It's the SVS. Stronger war zone match. Begins. Then I want you to focus on your zone develop. Okay. Do not focus first on zone fight. You need to focus on the zone develop. Okay? Yes, because this can give you a lot of points. It's a points booster when competing on the strongest war zone event. Or state versus state event. Okay? Now, I guess that's it. So, yeah, I hope you have learned in this video. I explain it detailedly and what you need to do. And maybe I'll give you another video for beginners. Oh, my alarm. For beginners in the other videos. To help you um become more good in playing this game all right so i hope you can give a like a thumbs up and share and subscribe to my channel as you know for appreciating me <laughs> oh no i'm not very good at this i'm really sorry i'm very terrible i just really wanted to help other players how to understand this game completely 
and thank you so much i'm going to end the video now because it's taking too long and goodbye